Hey guys, here is my 1996 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution GSR Rally Yard Edition. Uh, it's a rare find in this condition. I, I imported it myself in through Japan. Obviously, it's a right-hand drive vehicle. I imported it through a company called Trust Company, which is the only car exporting company on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. So they obviously don't sell low-graded vehicles. Uh, it does have a high grade. It's actually a grade four, and I have all the paperwork to prove so. Um, they obviously do. They do radiation inspection, they do mechanical inspection, safety inspection. They do all those inspections before it leaves the port. So I received it in this condition and it's in phenomenal condition. Every time I drive it, I get a million thumbs up from young kids obviously looking over and going, oh my God, I wish I had that. I am an adult. Uh, I work hard, very hard for the things I own. So I keep everything in very, very good condition because I know that if you ever want to resell something, it has to be in good condition. So here's the engine bay. It's super, super, super clean. Uh, I clean the car almost every day or every other day, uh, except when it's snowing outside, just because of the slush and stuff. It obviously gets really dirty, and it's kind of pointless if you clean your car. Here, if you're a Calgarian, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'll just kind of go through the engine bay there. It's really clean, sounds very healthy, runs and drives like a dream. Very, very, very powerful for a little four cylinder. I'll uh, show you where the turbo is located. It's actually just located right there. Massive turbo. Yeah. So just on the on the plates there, there's a looks like a little bit of rust and stuff. Well, I mean it's it's a 20 year old car, but everything underneath is super clean. Runs and drives like a dream. So I'll just show you the wheels here real quick. They're in beautiful condition. Everything about this car is in very, very, very good condition. So we'll go to the interior here, and I'll kind of go through it with you guys. So here are the Recaro seats, the famous checkered kind of interior from the Evolution 4s. Uh, looks like it's a little dirty there just because of the, the lighting from the, the camera here. Makes it look a bit dirty, but it's super clean. I'll go a little closer to it. So it does look dirtier than it actually is. I mean, I was driving it, it's winter outside and obviously that's where I put my feet there. Uh, here's the, uh, the, the pedals there. The carpet is in beautiful condition. If you look in between the seats here, everything's in very, very nice condition. Very, very nice condition. So I'll just show you the doors. It's a Minter. It's a super, super clean car. It's kind of hard to see. The lighting on the camera is pretty harsh and the interior makes it look a little dirtier than it actually is. But even though that being said, it still doesn't look that, that dirty. So there is the double deck. Um, I, I don't know if that's original or not, but uh, I do have speakers back here by the same name brand that are obviously from the 90s. It doesn't sound the best, but it's not horrible. Uh, it does have dual airbags. Obviously, you can see that it's a manual transmission. Super clean car. We'll just kind of go through it here. There's just the cubbies and stuff like that does not have a sunroof. Some of them come with a sunroof, which is pretty rare. I was trying to find one, but couldn't in uh, good condition. Anyways, so here's the back seats. They're mint. It looks like no one's ever even sat in them. So I'll just show you there. Just really clean. I kind of put the seatbelt there just to tuck it in. The middle seatbelt because it's so long. Yeah, I'll just keep going around here. Here's the trunk of the vehicle. Super, super clean. Looks like nothing's ever really been placed back here. Just show you so it does have the original jack uh, the original tire uh, from Japan the original spare it's not yellow which is pretty impressive but it is original I've confirmed that and uh, yeah so there's no there's no rust or leakage or any kind of molding it's a little dirty back here I've never cleaned actually inside here since I've gotten it but uh, the carpet is in very good condition super super clean car We'll just kind of go over on this side. I'll show you over here. Again, what I'm seeing on the camera makes the interior kind of look dull, but it's not dull at all. It's just the lighting, I guess. So the carpet on this side is super clean. I drive the car daily, usually by myself. A lot of the times, not a lot of people come and sit in here. So if you can see the interior, it's 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 in mint condition. I mean, I can't stress over how clean this car is compared to the ones that I've seen on the market. Oh, another thing is that the driver's side does have some wear on it, just here, which is very, very common on these Evo 4s. 
Uh, most of them, every single one I've seen in person, the ags actually had um, wear on that exact same side. Worse or better, there's still always wear there. Um, just going through the vents and stuff. Just a little bit of lint there. But yeah, no, I keep the car really clean. Like I say, I wash it and clean it almost every other day to make sure it's top notch. I don't like driving in a dirty car. I'm very OCD when it comes to driving in a dirty car. And uh, sorry, by the way, if my new voice is getting a little annoying. Uh, I've only done this a couple other times. I have a Sylvia uh, Keys Edition video on here as well, too, if you guys want to check that out. But, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll close all the doors and I'll show you guys the exterior. That's the interior there. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the, the dash. So that is original. Um, obviously, there's a turbo timer here, which is not obviously original, but this gauge here is original. I have the manual inside the service manual, which is in the glove box. I'll show you guys that in a second. So that's where... That's just the gauges and stuff. Here's the original books, which is quite rare. Every single one I've seen actually hasn't come with one of these, so I was really very, very happy when I saw this. So there's the original books. There's some service. Uh, there's some service that was done in Japan. I also have over 30 or 40 pages of importing and exp the whole importing process and all the service that I've done to the vehicle, uh, the oil changes and all that kind of stuff. Um, I have that all in a in a in a folder at home. I forgot to bring. I was going to show you guys. Uh, I do have the out of province safety inspection on the vehicle. Uh, I also got the safety inspection. I did two safety inspections. One out of province, done by uh, Double J's. Uh, his name is Rod. I Double J. He's an awesome guy. He um, he was very nice and very kind. He was very patient with me as I was very eager to get the process done. So shout out to Double J. If you guys want to get an out of province inspection done, I recommend you guys do it there. He's a very, very, very honest mechanic. And I did another one on Brake Stop at 52nd Street, was where I did the other safety inspection. So this is the, just to make sure obviously everything was good, I took it to my, my kind of everyday mechanic. And yeah, that being said. So this is the exterior of the vehicle. As you can see, this car is in beautiful condition. I can't stress over how beautiful it is. Um, some people are probably wondering, well, if it's so mint to you, why are you selling it? Well, I, like I explained in the ad, I have a growing family and I thought these were actually a little, I, this is, I thought they would have been perfect for my family, but my family is growing and we are going to travel to the States and stuff like that over the, over the, uh, over the, the summer here. And this car, it's a beautiful car. It's super fast but it's definitely not a long distance traveler. I would not recommend taking this car on an extremely long road trip. Your back and everything will probably hurt in those Recaro seats, I'm just being honest. And I took it to Banff over the weekend. I got some rock chips on the front end of the hood, which I'll probably touch up before anybody comes sees the car, but I'll show you guys in a second. Again, sorry if my voice is getting annoying. I don't really do this all the time. But yeah, this is the exterior of the car. The car is plated and insured and registered in Alberta, in Calgary, Alberta. So this is the exterior of the car. As you can see, it's it's in beautiful shape. I'll kind of go through it with you guys. So like I said, I took it to Banff uh, not too long ago, and this is why I kind of want to sell it, just because the travel there and back was on my back was not that good. It was not that good. So that's why it's not really a long distance car. So there are some rock chips, as you can see on the front end of the hood. There are quite a few of them, but if you take a step back, you can't even notice them. There are a few of these rock chips that I got uh, driving on the highway. I did want to film the car, but actually I forgot to do so. I did want to film the front end, but uh, yeah, no, the, 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 whole, the whole body of the car is in beautiful condition. The mesh is straight. There's no dents or dings in the mesh, which is which is very nice. The splitter at the bottom, the lip, is in phenomenal condition, which is also rare. They usually get chipped up. All the ones that I've seen have been chipped up. Again, mind you, I'm a very, very, I'm a very big enthusiast on these Lancer Evolutions. These were my favorite cars ever since Gran Turismo came out in the early, in the late 90s. I was a huge fan of these. This was my go-to car. If you guys ever remember that video game. Again, I'm sorry for my voice if it's so annoying. I can kind of tell, you guys probably like, shut the fuck up. But yeah, I just want to show you people how really mint this car is. I'm only asking $8,000, which I believe is more than fair, considering all the ones I was looking at were in that price range and nowhere near in nice condition as this one. There are some scuffs, I'll show you. 
there's a scuffer here on the bumper, right there. There's some kind of rock chipping here, and there's a kind of like a dash thing there. I don't know what that's from. I, I got the car like that. The rock chips I put on myself, everything else was kind of how I got it. But it's not noticeable from a feet away. It's not noticeable unless you're like super closely looking. There's kind of a scratch right there. It's uh, the size of just kind of like the top part of my pinky. It's not that big. It's not noticeable from, like I said, again, a foot away. There's kind of like this dash cut there. But if you look again, it's not noticeable when you're a feet away. The rims are in beautiful condition. So just to show you guys that, they're in beautiful condition. I obviously juiced up the tires and I waxed the car obviously before I took this video just to make it more appealing. I do wax the car and clean the car every week. I at least wax it every week. I haven't polished it yet, so I'm sure when you, if you decide to polish it, whoever buys this vehicle, it will look a billion times better. The reason why I haven't polished it is just because it's winter. It's kind of pointless with all the snow and stuff. Like I said, I worked at a high-end detailing shop, so I know exactly what to do and what not to do with the vehicle. So I definitely keep this thing in mint, 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 mint shape. So I will turn it on and I'll lift the hood and I'll show you guys how it sounds and then I guess that will be the video. So I'll do one more walk around. It's in beautiful shape. I'll kind of step back here to give you guys a full, full length of the video. Kind of pause there. Just look at that. That could be yours for $8,000. I am firm on my price. I'm not moving. I'm not in no rush to sell. I do have another GDM on the way. go something a little bigger I'm actually bringing over a wagon without racing bucket seats just because like I said I want to travel kind of step back here from the back side it's in beautiful shape I mean you can't deny it if you're looking at this right now well, what I'm seeing in the screen on my phone here it looks phenomenal and in real life it only looks better I promise you that you will not be disappointed if you come look at this thing in real life so I'll start her up and yeah, I'll start it out. It does have keyless entry, so I'll just show you guys that that works. Drop some money there. All right, so it does have keyless entry. This is the key here. Kind of show you. So that's locking the doors. The doors are open, and that's obviously unlocking the doors. So it doesn't have a clutch uh, safety. Uh, so that means you turn on the car without pressing the clutch. A lot of these uh, JDM vehicles come like that. So just give me a second. So just to show you there, all the dash lights work. I have the uh, heat on right now. Just just cold outside. Team, young money till the I'll turn on Nicki Minaj. Just a second there. So yeah, to show you again, all the dash lights work. And to when I turn on the vehicle. Very clean sounding car. So all the dash lights obviously go away. Turn on drink instead. So the only lights that do remain are the brake light. The uh, seatbelt light and the door light, obviously, because the door is open, the brake light is on. I'll put that brake light down for a second. There you go. And the seatbelt light, obviously, because I'm not sitting in the seat right now. So I'll kind of just go to the back first. Just let you hear the muffler. Very nice, deep sounding muffler. The muffler is actually original. It actually has rally art embroidered in the side here. Sorry, I actually forgot to clean it. I should have. Uh, Polish it. So it does have rally art on the side. I do have service records stating that the it was put in it was put on at Mitsubishi in Japan. So I'll kind of just let you listen to the vehicle on the outside here for a second. Super clean sounding motor. Super super clean. You can't even you can barely even hear it when you're when you're in the drive thru you don't hear it at all. You don't hear it really echo off the walls. You do hear the muffler though, because obviously it's a deep sounding muffler. Oh, another nice thing is that it does come with the full mesh grill on the hood here. And the bottom center piece is actually in place. It's 100% perfect. There's no blemishes or anything in it, which is very rare as well. So. so this is the motor running. Obviously you can hear the fan running. Like I said, there is some rust and stuff here just because it's obviously an old vehicle. The, um, the radiator is brand new. It was replaced in Japan before the car was shipped over. 
and all the fluids have been flushed out. As well as some of these hoses, I can't determine which ones have been replaced. But I know a lot, and the fuel filter as well has been replaced. As you can see, look how clean the, uh, the screws here for the motor mounts and for the shocks are. Sorry, for the shocks, not motor mounts. All the fluids have been topped off. Everything is uh, as normal. Like I said, I did an oil change not too long ago. I got the car fully serviced at uh, Mitsubishi in Edmonton when I first brought the car over. I got spark plugs changed, I got why I got the coil packs changed. Um, what else? I did a couple other things. Got the oil changed obviously there as well. And uh, I got some of the belts changed. I got the uh, alternator belt changed and the power steering belt I believe. I know I got some belts changed. can't remember. I don't have the paper on me right now. But, but yeah, this is the car running now. Here I'll kind of rev her up here. So I can, uh... So you can obviously hear the turbo spool. This is where the uh, blow-off valve is. It's obviously a stock blow-off valve, so it doesn't make that shh sound. But if you wanted that shh sound, you can obviously go to like Auto Dream or JDM Inc. And they, they sell them, I think, uh, separately for, I think, anywhere from $60 to $100 for a good one. But yeah, this is the vehicle, guys. Again, I'm asking $8,000 for her which I think is more than fair. I'm firm on my price. It's gonna be very sad to let it go, but if you come see this thing in real life, you will not be disappointed, I promise you that. I will show you all the paperwork that I have, and I mean, I have, like I said, over 30, 40, I think almost close, yeah, almost probably 30, 40 papers of uh, showing you how I imported the vehicle and all that kind of stuff, and all the inspection papers that I have. The car is a turnkey uh, turnkey and go car, so once you buy it, you obviously you have the inspections and everything ready, so you just have to give the inspections to your insurance company, and the car will be fully registered and insured with no hassle at all. And it will be registered at the same day, obviously, because it will show me as an owner on the registration, so you won't have any issues there. Sorry this video is so long, but yes, this car is for sale for $8,000, and it could be yours. And uh, you can probably hear the fan running right now just because I got the heat on. So or maybe the AC on actually, so that's why the fan's just blowing. But it's beautiful. It runs and drives. I'll take you guys for a test drive, but obviously it's too dark outside and stuff. You guys wouldn't see anything. But yeah, so uh, this car is on the market on KijijiCalgary.ca. Uh, and my name is Carlos. And all my information on the vehicle will be posted online. So yeah, just give me a shout, send me an email, and maybe we can work out a deal or something. Um, but then again, I am firm on the price. So, so yeah, sorry if my voice was annoying. I apologize, but goodbye for now.